Hi, my name is Dr. Charvine Alawali, and today we're at the Body Worlds exhibit in Edmonton, where we have the exclusive opportunity to use the plastinate models to explain to you various conditions. And we're going to talk about headaches. That's right. How many of you have heard the excuse, not tonight, honey, I got a headache? Didn't you wonder what a headache was and where it came from, what it was all about? Well, today we're going to explain to you what what some of the symptoms are, the causes are, we're going to, we're going to use these plastinate models to show you soft tissue restrictions in different areas that cause headaches. So what are some of the causes of headaches? Those include um, hormonal triggers and that often happens with women, particularly certain times of the month. Certain people can experience headaches that are triggered by foods or, or visual changes. You can have people that have uh, climatic changes that will lead to headaches. We're located in Calgary and a lot of times we get Chinooks that roll through every so often and we'll have a whole influx of people that come in after uh, weather changes that say, you know what, it's gone from being cold to warm and I've got a headache now. Some of the symptoms people experience are pain in the back of the head that travels up in between the eyes. They'll notice stuffy sinuses or pain in the neck down into the shoulder area as well. Some people will even get jaw restrictions or jaw pain that comes on when they have headaches. Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson. Dr. Alawali and I are going to explain a little bit more about headaches and how they come on uh, using these wonderful plastinate models. Great opportunity to be here. Uh, working with cadavers and doing dissections isn't even close to the, what we can see here because they've actually removed all of the tissues around the area so you can actually see a lot of the nerves and real specific sections you normally wouldn't see with a dissection. Getting to headaches here. When we're looking at headaches, we're always trying to consider where they're coming from. Is a headache originating in the head or the neck or the shoulders? Now, we have to consider several things here. When we start looking in an area, we say, okay, well, I've got a lot of tension in my shoulder. And so we say, okay, let's say for example, I've got a lot of tension coming from back here. Now, is it really coming from back here or is there a postural problem going on? For example, let's say the muscles of the tight at the front here, the pectoralis muscle, let's say it's very tight, short, and contracted. That would cause your shoulder to go forward and everything at the posterior here to tighten right up. If that happens, everything in the neck is going to tighten up and then that will take it right up to the jaw. So we never really know where it's coming from, so the practitioner has to work through these different areas. For example, it may be in the temporalis muscle up, up top here in the head, or the master muscle on the side here, which are two muscles of mastication, which may be causing a lot of tension in the area, and basically as that contracts or pulls down, it's going to change the position of your jaw and your skull, and it may cause a lot of tension at the base of the skull, which is going to affect circulatory function. So here we are at the posterior aspect of the plastinate model. If we're looking at the back here, we're going to see the base of the skull, some of the area across here which is called the occipital area, the suboccipital muscles which basically just means the muscles below the skull, the neck, the shoulder blades on each side. Now when it comes to headaches, some of the muscles right at the base of the skull here are extremely important. Muscles such as the rectus capitis posterior major here. And this is a really, really important muscle because when some of these muscles start to get really short and contracted, they actually affect circulatory function. And we consider that some of the areas, such as the jugular frame on the other side, has an area where a majority of your blood flow comes back from your brain. If we get a real tight, contracted area here and the back of your skull starts to slope down, this is going to affect circulatory function and almost immediately you're going to get a headache. When I'm referring to a kinetic chain relationship, 
I'm showing you that tension, for example, let's say in the mid back here, the mid thoracic area here, or the shoulder blades, could actually cause tension farther up into the neck here, even tension out to the front in the jaw. So when a practitioner gets in and they're trying to figure out where these headaches are coming from, they have to not only work in the area at the base of the skull, but the neck, the shoulders. And if these areas are really tight here, we're also going to see an associated tension on the front of the body. One area of the body always gets contracted in relationship to tension on the other side of the body. So how do we treat headaches? What we usually begin by doing is figuring out exactly where there are restrictions that are formed. That's basically adhesions. We'll, we'll use our hands and we'll use soft tissue treatment methods such as active release technique and Brosten technique. We'll find out the areas that have adhesion formation. And that's basically different soft tissues, meaning muscles, ligaments, tendons, that have intertwined on top of one another. And they kind of look like this. When we're using our hands, they'll feel like little BB-like BB nodules or ropey uh, tenderness in the area. We'll feel the areas that you have the restrictions in. And many times when we're working on our patient, they'll say that, oh, it's just this one spot here that I feel tightness in. But as we work our way around, other areas will come up too that'll have adhesion formation. And they'll say to us, you know what? That didn't feel so bad until you got in there and you started poking around and feeling around and working on that area. Once we figure out where the patient's tight and restricted, we'll work in that area and we'll work in the whole kinetic chain. So for the example of headaches, we'll start in muscles such as rectus capitis, posterior, major and minor. We'll work our way down into the neck and upper shoulder area, sometimes even into the upper back area. We'll will free up those restricted areas. And then what we'll do is we'll give our patients exercises to do at home. In the case of headaches, we'll give them, uh, sometimes we'll give them a neck stretches and we'll give them TMJ uh, exercises or we'll give them upper back and chest uh, strengthening exercises and uh, stretches. For the TMJ uh, exercises that we give to our patients, we actually have a video. If you go to our YouTube channel, that's uh, www.youtube.com forward slash kinetic health online, you can get access to the TMJ exercises and our neck stretches uh, video.